All right. Voice over body shop is coming up next. We don't know what you were watching, but we're coming up next. And George and I are having our, our first 2016 fan round table. If you're watching and you want to be on the show and you got a webcam. And if you don't, what do you want? Like a, a 19, 1998 PC or something like that. <laughs> Uh, we'll send you a Zoom chat invite. Anthony is here, and uh, we're going to get you on, and you can ask your questions, and we can have a wide-ranging voiceover discussion and right. talk tech and any other topics you guys want to bring up, except politics, maybe. That's coming up next, VoiceOver Body Shop. Don't go away. Two men, twin sons from different mothers, with a passion for voiceover recording technology, and the desire to make recording easy for voice actors everywhere. Together, in one place, George Whittem, the home studio engineer to the stars, a Virginia Tech grad with an unmatched knowledge of all the latest gear and technology in voiceover today. Dan Leonard, the home studio master, a voice actor with over 30 years experience in broadcasting and recording, and a no-holds-barred, myth-busting attitude for teaching you how easy it is. Together, finally, to bring you all the latest technology, the superstars of voiceover today, and leading the discussion on how to make the most of your voiceover business, this is VoiceOver Body Shop. And now, live from their super secret multimedia studio in Sherman Oaks, California, here are George Whittem and Dan Leonard. Good evening. I'm Dan Leonard. And I'm George Whittem. And this is VoiceOver Body Shop. Or VO BS. Thank you very much. Yes, and we'll see how much BS we can get across to our audience tonight from our audience because it's our first 2016 fan roundtable. Uh, if you're in the chat room, uh, you know, let Anthony know. By the way, Anthony Gettig is actually in the studio with us today. In the house, Let's get a shot of Anthony. Gentlemen. Yeah! Yeah, wave. Uh, not, not up in Kalamazoo, Michigan, freezing his tuchus off. No, he's actually here in sunny Southern California. Hi, Mom. And uh, he's... Uh, <laughs> I made it to the big time. <laughs> yeah, all right. I can go now. Uh, so uh, he's actually running the chat room from here, which is something we never get to see. It's we, so cool. He's just like off in the distance somewhere. In the wilds in of the Minnesota. Ethers. And uh, so he'll be he'll be monitoring the chat room. If you have a question, you can throw it in the chat room. Uh, we have a bunch of other guests that have joined us tonight on our fan roundtable. And we'll get to them in a couple of minutes. Mm -hmm. And uh, and again, if you want to be on camera, come on, kids. You're professional communicators. You're voice actors. You should have no problem sticking your mug in front of a camera and getting your mic on and being on our show and asking your questions or speaking your mind or whatever. Exactly. All right. But first, we got to thank our sponsors. Indeed. Because without them, this wouldn't even be a, That's right. a webcast or whatever we call yep. this. Uh, first off, Harlan Hogan over at voiceoveressentials.com. Voiceover Extra. Your employers. Uh, no, that's voice. That's Edge Studio. You don't work for Voiceover Extra. Okay, thank you. Uh, <laughs> source Elements, makers of Source Connect and lots of other cool stuff. Yes, VO2 GoGo. David H. Lawrence's. A David H. Lawrence's the thing. The 17th. You got to throw the 17th in there. The 17th. All right. And Antland Productions, where you can get yourself a killer demo. Well, it is our, our fan round table tonight, but mm -hmm. first we got to do the news. We have news, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. And now the voiceover extra VOBS news, the latest and most comprehensive voiceover industry news brought to you live. All righty. Yes, it's time for the news. And for May 2nd, voiceover extra news. Are you a pain in the ass? That's the question. <laughs> this week, we wonder if you're being a pain in the ass to your customers, or rather, don't tell us. But think about it for yourself. Uh, great customer service is a big key to your success. And you might pause and think about how you're treating your customers. Can you improve? Well, 
Let's take a look at this. In a new voiceover extra article, busy voice talent Guy Harris, who voices worldwide from his studio in London, England, says he hears time and again from producers who feel they're battling with voice actors to get the job done. So what happens? Well, if the producer has uh, has a choice in the matter, the difficult choice voice actors, he's not going to call them again. So don't be difficult. You know, it's pretty simple. In this article, Guy gives some pointers for good customer service. Number one, be helpful. If the script comes and is not grammatically correct, has that ever happened? That ever happened, Anthony? Uh, no, no, never, ever, ever, they're, never. They're always perfect. Yes. Always perfect grammatically, and we never have to correct them. But if by the odd chance it comes grammatically incorrect, maybe point out the mistakes and see if there can be a read-through before you start recording. Just to be 100% sure it's the way they want the script. Mm -hmm. Two, do the odd freebie. Say a nice email comes from a student at a media college and they need a voice for a short script. Why not do it? Because who knows? They might remember you in the future when they become the head of, you know, DreamWorks Studios or something. Of course, don't let them come back for more freebies. Yeah. That's a big warning. Don't, you know, one time and then, you know, then open your wallet. Please. Tell that again to camera four. One time and then no more freebies. Okay, that's our official mustache cam. Uh, three, offer to read a sample before they book you. All right? For instance, read one or two sentences of the proposed script and send that to the client. Do, th do this to check if you are right for the job. And if you aren't right for the job, don't take the money. <laughs> yeah. Uh, four, know your limits. Don't do every job. If you haven't got the time or the right voice, voice, don't accept the job. Okay. That's never stopped me before. Okay. Until, of course, I've done the job, which case, <laughs> they're going, you know, you weren't right for the job. <laughs> right. Five, pick carefully through the pay-to-play sites. Very carefully. Mm -hmm. Only go for the auditions you're really sure about. Mm -hmm. Why? A producer might remember you if you waste his time. Six, be available. If a producer wants it the same day, why not be flexible and do it? People actually don't, they say, I'm busy that day. They actually do that? Yes. You ever do that, yes. Anthony? I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't think so. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Be flexible. Do it. No matter if it, it, you, somebody hires you, make the time and do it. Yeah. You know, there's many, many ways you can be of greater service, including how you deliver the file, the way you can be paid, and more. Now, for details on these and to see hundreds of other voiceover articles, tips, and stuff, visit voiceoverextra.com anytime, 24-7, and subscribe to free reports and announcements because John Florian is there every minute of every day. He does not leave his office busy printing up he voiceover extra. He loves what extra. he does. He does, and he's very good at it. That's why. Yes. Mm -hmm. Do we have anything of technical... Uh, you know, significance this week? Other than what we've been trying to do tonight to make yeah, the show better? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we installed a, a new, well, used $300. Uh, oh, there goes the blue screen. We just installed a three. <laughs> Don't worry about it. A $300 it. used video card in the Mac Pro trying to just simply add a third display to our, our studio so our audience can watch the show. Oh, okay, sausage making begin. Um, we, we use this USB to HDMI adapter uh, to plug in a third monitor. And when we do use it, it brings the frame rate of the show down. It, slow, it slows the frame rate. Which is why choppier. they've been seeing sort of these, this choppy video we've yeah, had the last yeah. couple of weeks. So we're trying to work that around by uh, work around that by getting a better video card. And I did get a better video card, but apparently it's still, despite having four video outputs... It still can't drive more than two screens, we found out. So I was quite surprised by that. Um, so anyway, we're, that's that's been our fun technical challenge for today. Um, other than that, I haven't seen a lot of uh, tech news that's been worth reporting on. I think, um, yeah, it's been kind of quiet. Yeah. I mean, I mean, NAB was a couple weeks ago. Right. We yeah. have, I'll have some more videos to share from that soon enough. Yeah. There was um, some really cool stuff there. Yeah. A lot of it was television stuff. But. Yeah. Maybe later if uh, the chat room wants, because we've got the chat room and we've got the, the Zoom room, 
if they want to see it, I do have the USB mic shootout. Ooh. That we could run. We could run that <clears> right later. So yeah, we'll let's see. Let's see how it goes. I do right. have that. You right. guys could take a listen. Right. Yeah. I mean, and and you know, there's lots of questions that, of course, we came up with in case people don't people don't have the guts to get into the Zoom chat. Still people tr- want to be entertained. They want to be entertained. Well, isn't They're it entertaining to be, to be entertained? Okay. Da 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 Exactly. When I'm wearing my new podcast. Celebrity. Ooh. Celebrity shirt. Oh, you can see that really well with this microphone here. <laughs> That's from NAP. Yes. I'm looking through all the shirts at NAP, podcast celebrity. Okay, I'm getting that. Okay, good. It's so cheesy. Yeah, it's, that's one of the best best things about going to conferences is you can get good T-shirts. <laughs> yeah. But it was, it was a fascinating conference. It was. It was lots what of What was fun. something that you came home with that you had seen that kind of stuck in your mind? Well, you know, uh, yeah, I went to the Adobe booth. And, uh, well, it wasn't a booth. It was an entire section of this massive hall yeah. and they had a scoreboard size, te- you know, monitor there and yeah. they were showing some new cool stuff that you could do with Adobe, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Adobe audition, which yeah. of course is my, my software of choice for, for production work and stuff. Yeah. And, uh, there was some stuff that I didn't know I could do. Like, you know how we, I'm always talking about how you can divide up individual e-learning files in twisted wave. Yeah. We love that. That's pretty it's easy to do. Very right? easy to do. Apparently you can also do it in Adobe audition. Nice. Now what was cool about the entire experience is that I sat down with one of the guys who was one of the developers of Adobe audition that's and cool. sound booth. Yeah. So, you know, and there was this producer there and you know, he's, Wait, he was the guy that worked on sound booth before audition. Or yes. Or whatever yes. He was. was one of, he was one of the, uh, the, oh, cool. the engineers working on yeah. it. And there was another, there was a producer there talking to him about audition and I just yeah. sort of sat down there and I'm like, you know, this is really great software. Yeah. You no. Know, afterwards, after the producer left. And of course I gave him my business card, Always. you know, Always. um, I was, you know, this guy's like, I need more customers like you who tell people this is great stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we do that here, everybody. In case you're a manufacturer out there, you've, hopefully you've noticed how much we talk up stuff we like. Yeah. Feel free. Good. Yeah. Feel free to sponsor our show <laughs> or send us your stuff. Just send us stuff. Cause we want to try it out. Yeah. But anyway, but, but yeah. that, that's, that was so split big by, was it split by markers? Split or was by, it, it was a, a split by marker thing. I have thing. to go back and review how to do it. Yeah. But you, if you can do that in, in uh, audition, then, you know, one you know, less thing you have to switch one, over to twisted wave. Right, for. I know, but I like using twisted wave for long format stuff. And, uh, you know, if you're, if you're doing a, if you're doing a remote session, twisted waves, a good thing to do the, do the backup on because yeah. it's reliable all over, over a long, uh, a long haul. I, I was hanging out with, uh, John McLean. And by the way, I've got video packages I'll be putting out over the next few weeks cool. on Widom's world. I'll run some of them here too. I've got an interview with John McLean at his studio, dog and pony. Mm-hmm. which is pretty cool. But I, it was really neat to see that a guy that's been engineering for years has the access to every tool known to man. You know, he's got the best gear you can get. He, he edits and, or he produces in Uendo, which is a thousand dollar plus software. Um, you know, but he talked about how he uses twisted wave specifically for, you know, certain utilities such as split by markers or batch processing. He mm-hmm. uses it a lot for batch processing. Yeah. So that when you do cool. a, when you do a lot of files like a small production house like that does, you know it makes a lot of sense. And I stumbled in on the way out of town. I I stumbled. I not stumbled in. I actually just happened to be able to stop by uh, Adrenaline Sound, mm-hmm. another studio that we big know. studio in in Vegas. Yeah, yeah, and I happened to get to watch um, uh, Brad Garrett do ADR. Brad Garrett. Yes. He was doing ADR for the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Really? Movie. Oh, yeah. Cool. That was a pretty cool thing to stumble in on. That was really neat. Um, you know, I, I stayed in the studio. I wasn't in the booth, obviously. I was just hanging out listening, but it was just cool timing. He had like 30 cues to bang through in about an hour. Wow. And to watch them do that remotely with Paramount. Paramount was on the far end on ISDN, <clears throat> listening into the session. They had a Pro Tool session going on both sides with time. I mean, it was like the technical tour de force of what these guys are able to do nowadays. That's that's really cool. Sympathy and all this stuff. It was all firing on all cylinders. And watching the the engineer who was actually running Pro Tools, it was quite a handful. I mean, and they're used to working at a pretty rapid pace. You got a celebrity in the booth. 
his voice was not doing so hot. So he was trying to maintain his voice. He had to go to work at his own comedy club. Brad it, Garrett has a comedy club. At the club. MGM Grand. Yeah, yes. in Vegas. So he, he, you know, the pressure was kind of on. You had to get it right, you know. Yep. But uh, that was really fun to watch. I oh. get to see that happen in real time. Yeah. See, we get the chance to do that here in, in Los Angeles, too. We go over to Mark Rouse's studio or you something like You know, it's like funny. They're all, they're all here, but it doesn't occur to me to, to just to, to, to visit them. So we need to start doing that more Maybe often. we just go visit a few studios. Field trip. Field trip. Absolutely. We need to have some field trips. All right. Well, we'll talk about that and make some plans, call our travel agent. And yeah. uh, we'll be back. We've got our fan roundtable. If you want to be in there, tell Anthony in the chat room that you want to be in there. We will send you a Zoom invite, and you can get your face on the show here and ask your questions or speak your mind. And we'll be here with uh, some of our guests that are here so far in just a minute. So don't go away. We'll be right back. Every Monday, 9, 9 Eastern, 6 Pacific. Voiceover Body Shop. I love when they talk BS about you. Hi, VO friends. You say you ain't booked a VO gig in seven years? And your demo is so old that you can hear the clicks from the stock music records? And you hear so much tape hiss that you run to the sink to see if the faucet is running? And the engineer used so much echo on your voice that it sounds like it was recorded in the Grand Canyon. And the scripts seem a bit dated, too, advertising the new and improved 1938 Plymouth Road King. <gasps> Is that what's been troubling you, Bunky? Well, lift your head up high and take a walk in the sun. Your demo can be killer, too. Just contact Uncle Roy at AtlantProductions.com and book yourself a shiny new killer demo. Show your stick to and show the world. You'll never give up, never give up, never give up. That dream. You're watching VOBS.TV. I don't know why. It's crazy what they do here. I think I'm going to go somewhere else and have a cheese sandwich. All right. We're back here and it's our, it's our fan round table. We have a couple of tech questions here though. We do. We do. Unless they're from these, last week. Are these seeds, seed questions? These are, or seeds, are these, oh, these are seed questions. These are seed, seed questions, questions from okay. our fearless chat room moderator, okay. Anthony. Anthony. All right. Thanks for Wave again, Anthony. Hi, mom. All right. <laughs> His mom knows he's here. This is here. so cool, man. I mean, he lives really far away, yeah, so to yeah. have him here in the studio is awesome. That's absolutely awesome. Um, all right. One tech question, then we'll introduce some of the people we've got tonight. Okay. All right. So, uh, how do I record both sides of a Source Connect session, a Source Connect Now session? Do I need to? Two very good questions. Do you need to is another good follow-up. Wow. Um I would say you only need to, I'll answer the second one first. I think oh. you only need to is if you really want to capture the direction from the other end and use it as training, maybe. Yeah. Maybe you want to capture both sides for your own review later or to use in training. I, that, that would be the best reason I could think of of capturing both sides. Right. Now, how? Well, it depends on, you Depends know, on quite a few things. Uh, no, you know, if you're using a mixer, you know, I know I've got an AGO3. Could you do it with the AGO3? I'm Let's pretty sure you, that out. I, you know, you have to have your mic plugged in and then, you know, I would think that you would be able to fire it through that way. Does the AGO3, oh, here's the question. Does the AGO3 have pans? I don't think it does. It does not have pans. Because here's what I, here's what I you would, would think. You would put it in post and pre and then. Yeah, because if you, if, okay. Well, yeah, so if you're doing a record, that's not a big deal. It's when you want to play it back to the other side, that's where it gets more complicated. Right. But a record is not a big deal. Right. So you just. You have to set up a multi-track style right. recording software. And assign that track to... You're like an audition. For example, right. track one is channel one. Track two is channel... Uh, on the AGO3, I think it would be channel three or four. Something like that, yeah. But then you'd be able to record on uh, both... That's number that, one. That, no, that, that's five in the last no, two I'm weeks. No, not counting me at NAB hitting the mic four <laughs> times during my presentation <laughs> in front of a room full of broadcast engineers... <laughs> Oh my God, that was embarrassing. <laughs> anyway, but uh, yeah, you could you could do it with a multi-track. I think you could do it with Twisted Wave. It might be a little challenging. You, you have to record a stereo file. Right. Have channel one be, uh, you know, your mic, and channel three and four on the AGO3 be channel two, or the right channel of Twisted You've Wave. You've lost it's just, me already. It's not mm -hmm. the most smooth thing, but Anthony... 
is raising his hand. He might have a better idea. On Answer well, the question, sir. Andy. Yes. If you're using a more complex DAW, say Audition or, or Pro, Pro Tools, Tools yes. you you may be able to do some funny signal routing that way. But I think the Source Nexus plugin yeah. might work for that too. Yes, Source Nexus is a tool that uh, Source Connect came up with or Source Elements came up with to allow their Source Connect now and other non-plugin type things to work as a plugin. So if you were in Pro Tools, you could do it that way as well. well there you go. Yeah. But yeah. It, that's what's so really cool about that cute little AG03 mixer is that that it brings the audio back in as a channel right. and then allows you to record that as another channel, yes. which is kind of neat. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which is why I bought one. Yeah. For so, 149 uh, bucks. And, and 20 bucks off for 129 such bucks. Such a deal. It absolutely was. Time to introduce the chat room? Yes. Let's see who's with us tonight. Let's do it. Who hasn't chickened out. Uh, first joining us from lovely South San Francisco, California, our good friend, J.S. Gilbert, J.S. Welcome once again to the show. Hi. He's developed. That's a That's really, a, how does he do that with his voice? <laughs> he asked me to turn that on before the show started. Okay. There you go, J.S. Um, hmm. No, I fixed it. Go ahead, okay. J.S. That was me. Hi. How you doing, man? I'm Okay. Good. Is it okay if I if I talk to you as uh, in my alter ego? Uh, okay. Uh, hi, hi, I'm a dragon, <laughs> and I'm I'm on a VLBS. Hi, dragon. I'm a dragon. Okay. Not Please don't breathe on us or the microphone. <laughs> Welcome, sir. Yes. Thank you. Um, nice to be here. Okay. Cool. <laughs> All right. Uh, Paul Stefano, click on his. Oh, when he talks, it'll switch cameras. Oh, Paul, start talking. Hi, everybody. There he is. Hey, all right. The thunderstorms have passed, or uh, yeah, everything? they're still happening in the background. But hopefully, my uh, my trusty booth will keep it to a minimum. Where are you hailing Wait, from? Man. Thanks. He's from Baltimore. You're from Baltimore? Well, that's uh, technically that. not from, but I live here now. I'm actually yeah, from okay. your neck of the woods, George, out just outside Philadelphia. Ah. ah. You said something earlier that was a hint Scotch that you were from that area, but I can't remember what it was. Uh, not, not quite. Show, I was asking if you were watching the Villanova game. I think that was the hint I oh, dropped. Oh, yes. No, that okay. was another good hint. <laughs> yes. All right. Yeah. Not not quite a mid-Atlantic accent, which <laughs> right. I always confuse for somebody from like the Isle of Wight or something like that. <laughs> like, it's, yeah. It's, it sounds British to some people. Yeah, you're right. It does. You know, it's like, it's very proper. It's true. You know, I know a lot of sailors from, you know, Newport Beach and you mm-hmm. know, not New, yeah, no, from Newport News right. and from Chesapeake Bay. And they all sound like they're British sailors. Oh, yes. And except proper. they're from Baltimore. They're propped up with something. Uh, absolutely. Um. <laughs> and, and I believe we have, is Ray still there? Where'd Ray go? Ray is there. Oh. Ray's here. There's Ray from hey, Dallas. Ray. How you doing? Very well, thank you. Hello, my fellow BSers. <laughs> from minneapolis minnesota oh cool minneapolis now we know the next fafcon is going to be in Ma- minneapolis oh it's going to well, be in minneapolis. good it's, it's going to be in minneapolis we knew, it was, we knew it was minnesota but i didn't it's, know it it's yeah it wouldn't be in st paul okay it would only be in minneapolis gotcha because the people from st paul don't know the people from minneapolis don't go to st paul mm. right well, we do but we just don't tell them where we're from That's okay it. right but the people from st paul Go everywhere, right? True. Okay, cool. <laughs> All righty. Well. Who else do we have? Let's see. Who's who's joining us up up center there? Oh, I think we got, I think we got Scott Chambers. Scott. Actually. Hey, dude. Let me unmute your mic. Here you go. How's it going tonight, guys? Cool. Good, dude. All right. I'm, uh, outside Atlanta, Georgia, between Atlanta and Birmingham. That's where I'm hailing from. Nice to, nice to have you on tonight. Good to be here. You got any more gain on your pre- Give us a little bit you more get, heat. Get, crank it up just a little bit. Yeah. Just a tad, man. I am low, aren't I? There you go. Yeah, no, much better. Yeah. You're five by five. Yeah. yeah. Atlanta, turn your radio up. No. <laughs> no, please don't. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, man. I'll listen off the air. <laughs> <laughs> I, had, I had a ton of a, I had a heck of a good time with you. Uh, heck of a good time with you at uh, Wobocon, especially yes. your performance. Yes. Will be legendary. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that was I mean, the backup dancers and all the... See, now people who weren't the there are like, what gets. are they talking about? The Strokettes. Yeah, the stroke. <laughs> you need to tell him what... You need to tell your oh, the audience what song you were doing. Dude. Yes. What song was that now? 
I stroke him by Clarence Carter. Nice. <laughs> yeah. One of the best karaoke performances I have ever seen. It was fantastic. <laughs> And freaking testing. Yeah, you do karaoke with a bunch of voiceover people, and you know it's it, going to be good. It's it's better than going into some crappy bar somewhere. Where <laughs> oh it's, yeah, it's like this was this was, that was that was an exceptional night of karaoke. It was fantastic. It was. All righty, well, gentlemen, does anybody have a question or a concern that they would like to bring up? Since you're here, yeah, did anybody come with? Raise your hand in the back of your minds. Okay, we'll we'll questions? start with Ray there. Uh, turn on Ray's mic. Go Dan ahead, Ray. spoke of audition. Yes. I, uh, over this past weekend, have been trying to see if it's possible to get a second download trial download. Um, I, I yeah, good have audition Adobe 3.0 audition 3.0 that I use, uh, from when I was a PC guy. Yeah. And now I have twisted wave on the Mac, but, uh, the, the new version or the version for the Mac of audition kind of confused me. So when I downloaded the trial, I really didn't want to pursue it anymore at the time, but now I've got a, a need for it, I think. And I guess, uh, I'm just wondering if anyone knows of a way to get a, another trial. And then also if maybe in uh, twisted wave, I guess the, uh, project would be, uh, music, a music bed with, uh, uh, essentially phone hold messages, you know, every 20, 30 seconds and audition seemed to do it more easily. Definitely. It does. Um, is there a way to do it in Twisted Wave, or do I go for Not the audition option? Wave. It's kind of a hack. I mean, you can, yeah. you can, yes, you can. I mean, if you really, really want to, you can take different audio files, copy and paste them on top of each other using special paste, and do a mix paste, and you can layer them on top of each other and mix them together. It's but why really, bother? It's really <laughs> inelegant. It's sort of a, I got to do this. I have no other choice. I'll use Twisted Wave, but it, it's definitely much easier to do in a, in a multi-track environment like uh, Audition. So you have, you have Audition 3.0, and you're looking for another copy of Audition 3.0? Is that Well, no, I want to be able to use something on the Mac. Oh, I want an audition yeah. for the Mac. So, but get, yeah. you, you, need to get, you have to get Adobe Cloud, Cloud. Yeah. and you already have do, done that, or you don't want to do that? Well, I downloaded the trial, say, six, eight months ago, oh. but really didn't try it because it looked different, and I didn't want to get an... I see. Get into it. But now I'm willing to try the, you know, the experimentation because it does appear different. And I think that's what threw me off. Well, it's, it's certainly a little different from three point. You know, yeah. Three point. Quite a bit of changes. Yeah. There's, were some changes, but they're all good. And therefore we're, we're, we're now applauding you for having the, the guts yeah. to actually try it because it will help your, uh, your production skills a whole lot. Um, I don't got, know about workarounds though. Well, I, mean, I think you might have to like literally start a whole new Adobe account. Well, right? that's what I was well, going to say, but it still wouldn't download. So uh, oh, yeah, try to smart me out. out. Yeah, well, smart yeah, I mean, change your email address. You know, <laughs> I've actually done that, but that yeah. was years ago. No, I, you know, I guess they knew I was doing it. I think Adobe's too smart. They probably can see a serial number or some kind of a key on your machine, machine and they yeah. know what computer it is. And yeah. Well, my thought was maybe I even tech chatted with them. If I don't like it, can I cancel? And they weren't real clear on that on the chat for Adobe. Oh, so okay. I think JS might have an answer. JS has the answer. Or Anthony does. Well, I mean, isn't it like twenty or twenty five bucks to like get it for a month? It, for well, yeah, well, each month. yeah, but that's it's like uh, two hundred and forty dollars yeah. a year. But I think you can go month no, to month, for a can't month. You? you can go yeah, go a month. Yeah, go a month. I thought you can go month to month. Right. Yeah, and if you learn it and you decide you like it, then then you've got some. Yeah, it's not it's not then a it's year it. it's not a year commitment. You can just do a twenty dollar a month thing and just turn it off at the end. Of, yeah. So you're you're not committed to that level. Yeah, JS. I'll turn on his mic. Yeah, go ahead, JS. It's to use it, and uh, I would really love it if I could have another trial, and they will probably give you another trial. They're nice there. Yeah, you I'm could sorry, just, I didn't catch the beginning yeah, of that. Sorry, I, we cut off the very beginning. Call them. You think? Yeah, just contact them, uh, the, a call or, or um, an email. The, the, you know, when you go on their site, there's, they have very good contact strategies. Uh, and just say, uh, I, you know, I had, I had downloaded it and I never really had a chance to use it. And would it be possible to get another trial? Uh, they're, they're incredible. I've had, you know, machines crash. I've told them, oh, I switched from Windows to Mac. Uh, can I switch my thing around? Sure. Can I switch it back around? I accidentally deleted CS6. 
they've been really good to me as far as doing all that stuff. I good. don't know. Right. If you it's it's worth a yeah. try. Yeah, if yeah. you have it in your account, it's 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 easy for them to restore it. I mean, I've done that too. Not that I've ever deleted one of those programs. Well, do JS use yeah. Audition, right, JS? What's that? Do you do use you? Audition? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm mostly a SoundForge guy, but uh, I've used all of them at one point or another. Yeah. And then because I've had other engineers using the equipment here, uh, I've had to have, uh, most of that stuff installed. So, cause you never know what they want to use. Oh, okay. Yeah. You've got people coming in from the outside and engineering there. And so you want to have every tool. Not anymore, but I used to. Yeah. Used to, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right. Well, I guess that answers that question. Well, I think since ever, you know, some people have been kind of, you know, upset about the cloud licensing kind of monthly thing but the good thing about it is i think it really has taken adobe's support to another level in terms of what they're able to do because they have more resources coming in to provide better support right you know they're probably going to be a little bit more helpful now that's my i'm guessing yeah. i mean people seem to be experiencing well that. not only that updates are automatic because yeah. when you use it it's you're immediately downloading it from them it's not doesn't really reside on your yeah. computer uh, updates so, are automatic, but also you don't have to have the newest version at all times either. Cause that to me, that I don't like the idea that you would compulsor, compulsor, what's the word Compulsory? that you would be compulsorily, <laughs> compulsorily, compulsorily, uh, be forced <laughs> to, <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. He's saying Sean, I, Sean. We'll, we'll get to him in all a right. second. Um, yeah, to, to be forced to upgrade is not good. So you don't have to upgrade. So if they're on version CC and you're, and the new one's 2014 or right. you don't have to install it. In fact, I'm on CC, which is two years old now. Yeah, okay. They're up to 2014 and 2015. Okay. I like that one. Yeah. Thanks for that. JS. Yeah. That's you the man. Yeah. We appreciate that a whole lot. <laughs> Actually, all you have to do is go right above us here. Get back yeah. on me here for a second. Back on Dan. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All you have to do is go right above us here on, on the page and it says donate. If you're watching live and it allows us to do cool things like fan round tables mm -hmm. and bring Anthony all the way from, from <laughs> Kalamazoo, Michigan to be in this our studio. Right, ladies and gentlemen, you paid for Anthony's no, flight to Los no, Angeles. No, no, <laughs> just kidding. Just no, kidding. No. <laughs> By the way, Anthony, why are you here in Southern Calvary? Give us a quick rundown on yeah, that. Sure. Sure. No, that, that's a great question. Um, I have a very good friend in uh, Mount Fraser, if you know where that's at. It's south of Bakersfield, who is a priest. And uh, he is uh, from Nigeria. And he produces a lot of content for EWTN, which is a global Catholic television and radio network. Mm -hmm. And uh, he happens to be right here in California. And so I helped him put together a very basic uh, video and audio studio. And uh, we did it in one day. Turned out great. That's awesome. Yeah. When I was done there, I came down here and bothered Dan. <laughs> <laughs> so you were in Bakersfield all day? Uh, let drove see. here? Friday. Yeah, I got to LAX on Friday Friday was a 22 hour day. That was nuts. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Uh, and then Saturday, all day in Bakersfield, Sunday morning. And then last night, got down here. So. Cool. What did you build the studio around? What are the key components of his studio? Well, he already has like a whole lot of equipment. Um, like he, he takes film crews to Nigeria mm -hmm. uh, to, to make documentaries and whatnot. So he already had like Sony XD cams. He's got a jib. He's got. He's got a camera. Nice. Camera. Oh yeah. Camera. He's got some really nice stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, um, so we used the, you know, one of those cams and then we got, uh, went to Sammy's. Thank you guys for that oh, recommendation. Good. Yeah. And got a couple of really good light kits Yeah. and a green screen, lit it up really nice. Great for the, uh, so that's the video part. And then on the audio side, he had already had a road NT1, mm -hmm. NT1A, whatever that is. Yeah. And so we put, it. um, yeah, we just kind of did some listening and put some Orlex on the wall next to him. And actually, the first time I've seen one of those reflection things actually work well. You know, those? Yeah. The, yeah, I, I don't usually like those. But in that case, it, it worked, worked really good. the context in yeah. which you were using it. Set him up with uh, Twisted Wave on the iMac that he had right there. And yeah. Little focus right, little interface. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Because he's cool. been sending me, I produce his, his radio show. And he's been sending me stuff that he records on a little Tascam uh, SD recorder, you know, just with the onboard mic. Yep. And uh, thank God for Waves plugins to clean that up. Right. Um, <laughs> but uh, it sounds great. I mean, noise floor is like 61 or so. It's really, yeah, I'm pretty Amazing. pleased with it. Oh, cool, man. So, Very cool. Well, we're glad you're here. And I got to come hang out with you guys. Yeah. And you I get to it. run the chat room anyway. 
Yeah. And buy us beer. And buy us the way, beer. Yeah, you got to beer me here. Uh, <laughs> beer me. <laughs> yeah. Join the next break. Yeah. Okay. Out. Well, all right. All anyway, right. thanks. Well, we're glad you're here. All thanks, right. Thanks, man. I, I believe uh, Sean You've Daly. You've added somebody to the chat room. Sean, Sean Daly is here, too. Sean. Sean. Let me, let me unmute your mic and you can say hi. Go ahead, Sean. All right. Hey, guys. How are you doing? Does it sound okay? Hey, man. Yeah, cool. You're in a, a vocal booth to go yeah, booth. Yeah, clearly. Or, yes, or a is. padded cell. <laughs> or in a panic room. Yeah. Or in an... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, uh... What time is it there, dude? Is it like four in the, four in the morning? Or is it like uh, breakfast time? Oh, no. It's, um, it's about 1040 in the morning. Uh, there's actually a holiday this week. It's called the Golden Week Holiday, where you have like three consecutive holidays in a row. So that's why I finally get to join in on you guys. Yeah. Right on, man. Yeah. He's where joining, are you again? People don't Tokyo. understand. He's I'm in, in Japan. He's in, he's in Japan. What yeah. part of Japan? Uh, Nagasaki. So the uh, almost southernmost Japan. Nice. Cool. Thanks for joining us. Yeah. And, and, My and pleasure. Again, we got a lot of people in the chat room here. I mean, I'm, I'm seeing like 31 people in the chat room. Well, then there's a lot more people that could be in. There's Zoom a lot more people that could be actually on the show. Don't be a chicken. Let Anthony know that you want to be in, and he will send you a link to the Zoom chat that is allowing us to see all these great people. That's right. So. I know do, something else Anthony could do. What's that? He could get your charger, because you're at 0% battery on your MacBook. Oh. Oh. <laughs> do you oh. know where it is? Uh, but, but, yeah, it's right there, actually. It's no, on wait, the desk. It's the on left. the desk, underneath all that, that big pile of crap over there in the corner. The left, the left pile, pile right, of crap. Straight ahead, straight ahead. No, but... On the desk, move your hand. No other way. No to your to your left, to your left, left to your left, left to your left, left to your left. Straight ahead. Ah. With the, ah. it's like a game Bingo. of battleship here. All right. Wow, how did my computer? Well, because I haven't recharged it in. Mine's mine's down to like six percent. Mine's down to zero percent. We can plug it in right down yeah, here. Yeah, we can plug it in down there. I got a, I got. A we got to plug here. Hand that to George, and oh, and now it's gone. Thank you, sir. Yeah, but. No charge. Yes. So I could. Uh, no charge. No pun intended. Either. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, right. that was for Mike Coon. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So if you are, if you do happen to be in a chat now, George, this is, this is technology <sighs> plugging in my computer here. It was down to 0%, mm. but uh, anyway. I just caught that. Yeah. If you want to be on again, write in the chat room that you want to be here with Sean and Ray and, and, and Paul and, and JS and everybody else. And they can ask questions. That's right. For example, Paul, unmute Paul. All right, I'll unmute him. Okay. You're good, Paul. You got a question? Yes, sir. Comment. Oh, I, I was just waving to okay. uh, oh. say hi to, to other people in the chat room. <laughs> but I can ask a question if you like. Yeah, no, if you, you have one. one. Yeah. There's a, there's a uh, business practice question I've been dying to ask. And, um, that's okay. Or do you want me to stick to, to tech? That works. No, no, anything. Okay. So for, for those who are represented, what's the best practice when you receive the same audition from multiple agents on the same, the same audition? Um, everyone's thought it's in either the chat room or even Dan and George. What's the yeah. best practice for uh, who I'll, to send I'll, it to? Yeah. yeah. And, you'll, you'll defer since you don't you work with that. Yeah. I'll unmute everybody. Yeah. So anybody can chime in. Yeah. Well, I'll chime in first. And, Go and, for it. Yeah. Uh, the, the fact is, is that, Always go with whoever sends it to me first. You know, if somebody's getting something off a of voice bank and, you know, and they're shotgun blasting it out there, you know, at least they're sending it to you first. Used to be I had an agent in New York. I have an agent in California. Mm -hmm. And my agent in New York would always send me something three hours before my agent in California. You got an advantage. That's right. So I would tell my agent in California, look, I'm getting stuff three hours before, you know, so she just stopped sending me stuff altogether. <laughs> so wow, that backfired. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> Of course, then I moved out to California, had lunch with her, and then she's like sending me stuff again. Oh, good. So it's okay. all about relationships. Yeah. yeah. You know, so be nice to your agent. But if someone, if, if your agent is a little bit more exclusive about it, not shotgun blasting it, and they send it to you first, I'd say whoever got it to you first. Or the agent that is not charging you as much as the other one. <laughs> well, that's also whatever. a possibility. Yeah. Anybody else have anybody thought, on have that? thoughts on that? Uh, I know JS does. Oh yeah. I, uh, I say, why bother? Uh, don't read it all. <laughs> <clears throat> no, actually, um, 
I, uh, I reduced the number of auditions I did last year by 82% and increased the amount of money I made by about 12%. And I'll just say this about those uh, auditions that are coming in from Voice Bank, because uh, I have six or seven agents, and I will get sometimes five or six of those uh, submissions from the same agent in the same day. Take a look at it, <clears throat> and if it really, really isn't something uh, that says you and the money isn't really great uh, because I work on the other side. I work with the ad agencies and one of them recently, which rhymes with Miracil, um, they did three different uh, calls on it. And it was for men and women of all ages. I think it was even open to plants. Uh, <laughs> uh, and, and they, they received something like 17,000 auditions on it, oh, you know, and they, and it was sort of like, we have no idea what we really want. Uh, but now if somebody comes through and they say, uh, we specifically want something that would put JS in a minority or a small percentage of people that might be considered for this job and the money looks pretty good, uh, then I'll, I'll respond to it. Now, who I will respond to, um, and I know this sort of sucks, but um, we all will look at the agents that represent us. And it is rare that you will say that one agent maybe is uh, the same in terms of weight, in terms of importance or whatever. So uh, my thing is, is if you have a, a local agent that you have a great relationship with, your primary sure. agent, if you will, which a lot of people have, uh, try and read through them if you can. But then again, a couple hours have gone by and you've received, uh, you know, uh, something from one uh, person, hey, you don't know. You don't often know if it's a voice bank, if there's going to be multiples. So don't sit on auditions for too long. Mm -hmm. And and then with that regard, I think that Dan was, was fairly right on by saying, take them in the order in which they come. Uh, in my particular case, it might be that I'm busy for four or five hours. I check my email and I see three or four auditions sitting there over a time period. If that's the case, uh, you go with the agent that you think actually uh, might have the best chance of having their auditions listened to and paid attention to. Makes wow. complete sense. Yeah. Anybody else have any other thoughts on that? If not, I can ask a follow up because I have Good one. Question. Yeah. Yeah, well, go ahead. We'll you got a, you got a follow up question. Follow up and then we'll take a break. Yeah. Follow up question. Um, so let's say you do a, a read for for an audition and it's come from several agents, and the casting director or the ad agency says they're looking for. A slightly different take and you get it back but not from the agent who you submitted to but one of your other agents then what do you do mm. uh, a colleague of mine actually had this happen this week and i was kind of stumped anybody i'm, I'm sorry could you just say that again real quick or? you submit an audition that yeah. was sent to you from several agencies you sent it to the agency that you picked for whatever reason and the casting director is looking for a different different take and you get it back from a different agent not the one who you submitted it to mm -hmm. do you send it again or do you reach out to your agent to whom you submitted and say should you want another one that actually just happened to me uh so i called up um and i said uh i said i just saw that there's uh, i just received a request on a particular uh, read uh from one of my other agents uh, but I submitted the original audition through you guys. Do you know anything about it? And the agent said, yeah, we're just getting ready to send that out. Uh, they said, okay. I, I didn't I didn't even actually say what audition it was. I said, is there a, a, an audition you're getting read, ready to send out that's a recast? And they said, yes. So because I, I didn't want to alert them if that wasn't the case. If they said to me, what audition are you talking about? I would say the one that went out today that specifically said recast. And if they didn't know what I was talking about, I'm not going to let them fish in my pond. It's just not the way it goes. I will pass on legitimate opportunities to my different agents, but not in this particular case. And it, the waters are so muddy. You know, when I first got into this business, is a funny thing. Uh, we were allowed to have as many agents as we want in the same area. I had all four agents in San Francisco representing me at one time. Wow. Can you imagine what that was like? So they're like, JS, did you get a call yet on? On the blank. Yeah. That was a good problem to have. 
Well, yes, no, maybe, but the, you know, the agents have a hard enough time. So I'm not trying to take money out of their pocket, but then again, you know, and if you have an agent and all they're sending you are voice bank leads, I, I would, I wouldn't mess with them. Well, there is that. Uh, all right. Anyway. Well, yeah. Interesting question. And, you know, and feel free to chat in the chat room. I know we got a couple of questions in the chat room and stuff, and we'll get to those as well. And maybe we yeah. can have a bit of a round table about that. What other folks think about these things, but, uh, but right now we got to take a break and we were talking about source connect a little earlier mm -hmm. because someone says, how do you record both sides? Mm -hmm. But Tell them a little bit more about Source Connect. Source Connect, yeah. So, yeah, there's there's multiple products out of the Source Elements house. Yeah, beer us. Man. Yeah, we do need beer. It's, <laughs> so, but there are priorities. Yes, yeah, yes sir. Perfect. <laughs> Meanwhile, um, back at the television show. <laughs> <laughs> there are multiple products out of the SourceElements.com website. I mean, it is um, quite amazing what they're always, they're always innovating. ABI, always be innovating. They're always doing new things over there. Their, their, their classic product is still improving, iterating. That's called Source Connect. And that is what they're most known for, for sure, especially in the voiceover world. Source Connect is a way to connect between other studios in real time, just like you would think of ISDN, anywhere that you can connect and hear the other studio in real time, both directions. That is what you can do with Source Connect. And it's definitely one of the most well-known and popular alternatives to ISDN. It's an excellent backup for your ISDN studio. And it integrates beautifully with uh, Pro Tools, Nuendo, Adobe Audition. So if you're at the studio end, it, it works as a plugin. However, if you want to use some of the newer tools available, you might try out Source Connect now. The beauty of Source Connect now is as, as a studio or as a talent, the person that wants to connect to you doesn't have to own anything. They don't have to have a specific kind of computer. You just send them a link. They, you just send them a link and yeah. they can connect to you. It's totally free. And you can have up to five others on the session with you, listening and listening in on the session in real time. It's, uh, it's pretty darn reliable. Sound quality is quite good. And sometimes Source Connect now can negotiate its way through internet connections that or network connections that you can't get a connection with regular source connect. I won't get into why it's technical, but it's, it's a nice thing to have in your back pocket as, as a backup to regular source connect. Did I mention that it's free? It is I was free. about to throw some money out and say, <laughs> look, you don't need any of this. Stuff. It's freaking free. It's, it's so free. Yeah. Try out everything they have to, to offer and uh, go over to sourceelements.com. Tell them you sent us. I'm sure they'd like to know where you guys are coming from. And uh, thanks for your sponsorship, Source Elements. We appreciate it. Absolutely. Well, it's time to take a break and a mm -hmm. beer break. Mm -hmm. uh, and so we'll be right back after these incredible messages. So don't go away. <laughs> Learning never ends. You continue to grow. Edge Studio has grown. Pursue multiple disciplines in tandem and grow your career. We've added new courses in a new curriculum. We pick the best coaches from the community of working voice actors. A new technology division, engineering and consulting led by George Whittem. Follow your dream. Sign up for advanced learning or register for an introduction to voice acting or foundation studies program. See it all now at the new edgestudio.com. Learn the latest in voiceover technology. Business. At good old-fashioned acting. Hey, Paul, I really like your suit. Where did you get it? It looks good on you. This is VOBS. Having dinner tonight? How about having some VO, too? VoiceOver Body Shop. Have some VoiceOver with your dinner tonight on VoiceOver Body Shop, 9 Eastern, 6 Pacific. All right. You know, one of the things that's really great about the VoiceOver business is that there are some very, well, of course, we're all talented individuals. This is an art form. Mm -hmm. Voice acting is art, but it's also a business. So it's really good to learn from somebody who is both a very talented actor and voice actor and a very good businessman and technically proficient. So there's one guy that's sort well, there's plenty of people that meet that, that particular description, but one of our favorite guys is David H. Lawrence, the 17th. And it's not just because 
he sponsors the no, show. No, because he's genuinely a really nice <laughs> he's guy. He's pretty cool. He's cool. He's fun to hang out with. And he's a very good teacher. Yeah. Uh, and he's got a great little company called VO2GoGo.com, where he is teaching people the art of voice acting. Mm-hmm. And there's a lot to it. Last month they were, they were doing stuff about audiobooks. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure what they're doing this month, but it is true that he is a voiceover to gogo.com's voiceover curriculum is a five time winner of the backstage magazine's reader's choice award for best voiceover classes and best voiceover teacher. Oh, David well. H. Lawrence 17th. Very nice. That's a rather niche category, mm-hmm. but to be up in the upper part of that, that's an important thing. Okay. Now. It's 36 classes online or in person across a year long course Mm -hmm. featuring not just classes in the art of voiceover, but also in the commerce and science of running your voiceover business. Yes. And each month's class day includes a workout class for all participants. So if you want to go over there, check out voiceover to gogo.com. And if you want to join up over there, you can get a special discount. You can. How's that? Well, you, for more details and sign up. For a pro membership to save money, mm-hmm. all you have to do is go to vo2gogo.com forward slash, not a backslash, a forward slash V-O-B-S, and that will save you a little bit That's of money. That's the slash next to the right shift key. That's exactly right. Okay, forward forward slash. Gotcha. That might look different. Actually, it would be this because camera's always opposite. I'm always confused. I'm, I'm, it's, it's just the state of affairs around here. <laughs> but go over to vo2gogo.com forward slash V-O-B-S. And you will not be disappointed in the great education you will have on voiceover stuff from Indeed. David H. Lawrence, the 17th and VO to go, go.com. Mm-hmm. All right. Were there some other questions that we, that we had here from our, our, our chat room here, uh, that we can, we can get into. Yes, indeed. Yep. The announcer has one for you. Oh, Doug. Oh, there it is. Anthony. Yes. You know, uh, announcer Doug says to Anthony, Anthony. that uh, he has a question for George. Okay. Um, in a four by four whisper room, does George like using Owens Corning 703 for treatment? And if so, two inch or four inch, or maybe panels from ATS. Um, yeah, the studio suit is full of a similar type material to the Owens Corning stuff. But if you can't get studio suit, which, which you, you can't, can't <laughs> um, Owens Corning 703 is good. I, I like going towards the greenest possible products in terms of what chemicals are in them and what VOCs, uh, volatile off-gassing chemicals, whatever the heck that means. I, I like stuff with less VOCs than, than the 703 product. That's the classic formaldehyde bonded yellow insulation. Mm. So if you want to get away from that, um, yeah, ATS makes panels that come with all sorts of different materials. Uh, one of them is mineral wool, which is generally lower in toxins and then really low in toxins or zero would be their, um, their cotton batting panels. They have pot, uh, panels where the interior of the panel is 100% recycled denim. Mm. And that's my favorite because there's zero toxicity at all and they still perform beautifully. So that's kind of d- the direction I like to go. But yeah, some people still use 703 that, or 705, which is a more dense uh, variation on that. Two or four inch. I find that um, if you do, as long as you do corner base traps, then you don't have to go with such a thick panel on the walls. That when you when you put four inch on the walls, that's two inches of valuably lost space uh, for your wingspan, you know, that you might bump into. So you know, I think you need to gesticulate. Yeah, gesticulation zone is shrink slightly if you go four inch all the way around. Right. So I tend to like to go two inches on the walls and then a big fat base trap in one corner of your. Uh, of your whisper room or two corners, if you can spare it. And that really sounds awesome when you do that. So those four by four rooms, they need to be, you need to have those corners broken up. You need to get rid of that exactly uh, symmetrical size booth and, and straddling the corners with panels or using base traps does a, do a beautiful job. Excellent so. answer from someone who presented a paper on small booth acoustics to the national association of broadcasters. If this guy doesn't know it, it's not known. Oh, thank you. And I don't know how to speak with a podium mic because I whacked into it four <laughs> times. 
<laughs> um, anyway, let's go back to the chat room, see yes. what they're up to. I mean, the, uh, the, the yeah. actually, the, uh, yeah. the Zoom Hangout. What's yeah. going on, Zoom Hangout? Yeah. yeah. They're having their own conversation. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I wanted Let's to, to tell They're talking you, about us having our own conversation. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> With George and Dan Teacher's don't back. know that I can actually listen to three or four conversations. <laughs> <laughs> it's multitasking. Shh, That's not back. even possible. Quite, yeah. quite. Um, who, who has a question? But, but Sean, Ray, Sean had something. Since you, uh, you were asking about Adobe earlier, somebody just mentioned that you can call them directly and uh, and get CS6 or yeah, like I, the the yes the one that uh, well, I had I had CS6 and uh, and it busted, and so I called them up and said uh, my CS6 is all busted, uh -huh. uh, and I I didn't have a, a backup or whatever because it was a, a direct download, and they. Uh, they sent me to like a secret place where they had set up a little, uh, no, what, what it is, is when you have your account, they'll list all the properties that you own and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So if you go in there and you look and you had CS6, it's grayed out. You can't get to it anymore. Uh, uh, and they, they made it active for me so that I could actually download it. Is that the same thing as you're talking about, Sean? Oh, which one? I mean, it's, is that yeah, what you're talking, you're talking about? The, the bottom line was I said, call Adobe and see what yeah. they can do because oh. they're, they're, yeah, the whole thing, the uh, really what's going on these days now is these companies uh, are really gearing in all of them. Uh, and it's not just uh, the ones that, per that pertain to VO people, but all companies. They don't want you going out there in social media and saying that they, they suck. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, they're, they'll, they, you know, and they're getting smart. So if it's something silly like, a, hey, I downloaded a little trial and I, I never got around to using it. Can I do it again? Uh, uh, no. No, we want to make your life miserable. Yeah, we don't want you to spend fifty dollars a month getting our subscription to our products. Of course they do. So yeah. they're getting better about it. Are the routes to doing this uh, always easy? No. Uh, you know, you might have to stay online and hold for a customer service rep or whatever, or get transferred a couple of times. But generally, you get what you want these days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, and and they're mm -hmm. they're real people there. I mean, it was that was one of the cool things about being an NAB is I was meeting the people who were the developers and stuff. And they're just regular people and they want to interface with the customers and, yeah. and see how it is that they use their product and how to make it better. They're constantly sending out surveys. So, you know. so, uh, George, Dan, uh, they, they want to hear my talk about why you shouldn't take advice from people who have been doing this so long. Like I have, <laughs> yes, I, do. Do hear I think so. we should all take a lesson from you right now and not listen to that talk yes. because that would be bad <laughs> advice. <laughs> No, no, but here's, here's the interesting thing I was thinking about recently. A lot of the people out there that are, are telling people uh, how to become successful in voiceover are coming from a place of having done this 20 or 25 or 30 or more years. Right. And what I found really interesting is when I first did this mentally, if there had been like a voice one, two, three or something like that, I just set my alarm clock and woken up at two o'clock or three o'clock in the morning and done you know, whatever it was I could. Yeah. But the perspectives of people who have been doing this for a long time and what they believe are important and what they think uh, are going to get you success and get you work out there are a lot different mm. than what many of the people who are coming into the business now, uh, you know, prospects might have been different. It, it was when I got into this business, first of all, voiceover wasn't considered something you did to make a living. It was part of what you did to make a living if you were getting into acting an actor, right? and now not only is voiceover what you what you can do to make a living but the individual parts of it are things that people are considering so there are people out there that make their living just doing books or just <clears> doing <throat> voicemail or whatever um and this is very very different than what um i uh, kind of was raised on and grew up on uh one of the concepts that's funny uh is about auditioning uh i auditioned Two years ago, I auditioned more in a month than I would normally do in a year, 15 or 20 years ago. Uh, and I made, you know, a lot more money back then and things were different. Where are things different? A hundred or so of my clients over the last 20 years uh, that used to do union work are now producing their stuff exclusively non-union and more and more joining that fray every day. So this creates a different mentality if you've been somebody... Uh, who's been sucking off the teat of residual money. And I've done that. Yeah. I did two words in a commercial and made over $400,000 from it. So you don't have that as available anymore. Um, there used to be an unwritten rule 
And uh, the people who did voiceover didn't do produ production. They didn't do all the kinds of things they're doing now. Uh, more work seems to be stemming through voice actors now than through other channels. So it's a lot different from that standpoint. Um, and I can go on and on and on and talk about how things are different. So what you really want to do is find somebody who's succeeding in the new paradigm and somebody who's kind of figured this all out and worked and, and, and you know, and somebody that you can really relate to. Right. Because uh, no matter what, uh, I did this when there weren't so many participants and built up a name and built up a reputation and so on and so forth. And people don't really give a shit anymore. So uh, th th that's the thing about it. So, you know, you can get one of these guys who's been in the good old boys club in L.A. or New York or Chicago for 20 or 25 years and they can talk till they're blue in the face about it. But how relatable is it to you and who Today, you are? Yeah. This Absolutely. world and where you're located and what you do, what yeah. you're, you know, uh, so that's about your life. And that's, that's pretty much my talk. I yeah. can get really specific and say why, you know, 70, 75% of what us old timers are going to talk about is BS. Um, but yeah. you know, there's well, my word. I'm going to transit. I'm going to do a segue and I'm going to raise a, <laughs> raise a beer to Peter Thomas. who's probably one of the most venerable, yeah. Old timers of voiceover ever, who just passed away what a few days ago? Something like that. Yeah. So yeah. Pierce to to Peter Thomas, we just lost him. But at least he had a he he died at a ripe old age, right? Yeah. He was ninety one, I believe. Oh, um, sure. I'll be so sorry. he he had good a good career, good long life and good career. But uh, yeah. I saw a lot of posts people remember uh, remembering him on Facebook. Yeah. So yeah, I, I you know, and JS is right about that. You know, there's sure you know, a, a, it, it, it's not what it used to be. Yeah, it's a very different thing. It's a new and, model. And there are people. I mean, we had Kelly Buttrick on last week who was talking about some very radical ways of trying to to get voice work. Right. And, uh, and just, you know, having, having the, uh, the gazungas to go out there and really self promote yourself yep. and really work towards those sorts of things. It wasn't like that before. That's and, right. uh, but not everybody has mastered it. There are certain people I think who have mastered little individual pieces of the market. Some people are really good at direct <laughs> mail. Yes, they still do direct. They actually yeah. write handwritten. Yeah. Some people are really good at sending out videos. Some people are very good at just cold calling, cold calling. <laughs> Right. If that's how you make a living, yeah, that's more power to you. Um, there's a question in the in the uh, in the feed here. Can I chime in on JS's comment. Oh yeah, oh, go for it. You're on. Go for it, Paul. I want to say, as someone who hasn't been doing this very long, at least you know, with any real earnest effort, if you don't listen to people like JS Gilbert, then you're a fool. Because even though he's discounting the the experience, or at least how it how it how it is relevant now. You have to learn from from people like JS, like Bob Bergen, like Philip Banks, those people that have that have been in the trenches and, and know the business. And if you don't, you're just not going to get anywhere. You, you need that you need that knowledge and that basis from which to start. And I feel like I've learned a tremendous amount from from all the the veterans of the business, including JS, around this very show. It's one of the reasons I, I watch every week because I feel like I get that knowledge and it's helping me get started in the business. Yeah, Paul, I know you're a regular in the uh, VOBB. The board, I am, board indeed. And, and that's where uh, that's where's a lot of grizzled veterans. Yeah, <laughs> hang out in there. <laughs> <laughs> grizzled, entirely <Yeah>, <laughs> grizzled veteran. <laughs> and it, you have to you have to sort of be brave to be in there and, and not be a grizzled veteran. But it's, it's also good to, to take your licks and and keep on coming back, so to speak. So it's, oh, yeah. it's well, good. that's the thing good is it's that. like it, talking about the VOBB because I I've been involved with them for about two years now. I mean every. Like nobody really talks about it. They think that the first place to go is are these Facebook groups mm. and that it, they're very rose shaded glasses and like everyone can do this. And that like not saying you can't, but like you'll at least get some more. <laughs> you, you'll at least get some more honest feedback and you have people who will take you under your wing as long as you're not like I'm the like, gifts God to voices. Right. And like they'll just go in there. Like introduce yourself. Be it's all about relationships, and like don't be an asshole. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that makes a lot and of sense. And if you are an asshole, you just better be a really yeah. well-known asshole. That's right. Then you, well, you yeah. expect that of you. Know, <laughs> like you're endearing, <clears throat> yeah, so. your endearing quality is yeah. being an asshole. But yeah, <laughs> that's good stuff. Well, Dan was uh, <laughs> mentioning relationships before. Yeah, 
And uh, I think that is important. I just recently reached out to somebody on Facebook who's a local voiceover talent in Minneapolis. And I was having some difficulties with with uh, what I thought my M416, MKH416 was sounding mm-hmm. poorly. And so I sent him an audio clip. He responded, gave me 25 years of experience behind his judgment. And I did make a little bit of a change as to placement and it made all the difference. And also yeah. uh, on Facebook, the VOBS, Sean and I contacted uh, just by chance, I guess. I just wanted to see if anyone had uh, tried Source Connect now. And he, in Japan, responded that he wanted to try it. So uh, he and I got together and we gave it a whirl and we liked it. We enjoyed it. I haven't used it since, haven't had the need yet. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, I think it is important to make use of, of those people that we come into contact with through social media or in the local community. Um, it, it may be just the one answer that you're looking for that you, you find from, uh, from someone in the community. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think it's one of the best things about our community. And, and that's yeah. the thing is yeah. like, I find that if, if you don't shoot yourself in the foot, if you just be a nice person and openly ask for help, most people will try and, yeah. and offer a solution. It might always be the best one and you have to filter <laughs> through it. But like, um, like I said, like I said, just don't, burn any bridges like and and people will help you and search the forums before you ask questions always people like it when you do yes yes that's just good there's a search function and many things have a search function start there yeah Yeah. i I like this comment arlene uh, tannis is saying what you guys hear me no don't trust anyone under what i was saying before about again people who've been doing this for a long time i don't mean there isn't value um I, I do think that there are a lot of people who are embarrassed. A lot of the people I know here were making very large amounts of money and they're sitting on their thumbs and uh, watching as that's going 50, 40, 30, 20. Uh, things have changed. The uh, I've been aced out of work by people who actually are doing it, who work for the ad agencies or the production companies or the clients. Uh, so, you know, we have this world now where everybody wants to do it and the competition is fierce at the top and the bottom of the pyramid. But, fundamentally think about this when i first got into this business we were analog so what was an important thing about my ability was the guy could spit out 59.5 seconds without a breath and sound pretty decent so that you know that, that's <laughs> changed. And I'm, I'm brought in to direct people who have never done voiceover before and they like js if you can't get them to sound good for you know bum 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 then you're and it literally, we're sitting there going, let's take the first three words out of take nine and the fourth <laughs> word and, and doing this kind of stuff. It's almost like a voiceover auto tune, if you will, for, you know, <laughs> rap singers who can't carry a, a tune. Right. Um, and, and so we, we kind of have this perception uh, to a large extent, uh, you know, well, well, what is the great gift that these people are bringing to the table kind of stuff or whatever. It, it's certainly not something that all the people who hire talent have, and there are a lot of great people out there and, and there still are a lot of great systems, but I'm just saying things, things change. And I had to adapt. It's look at all the people who were in silent films who weren't able to make the transition over to talkies. Yeah. And, and I just bring that up because there's, there's different considerations now uh, that are going on. So if you're, if you're really leaning on what people who've been doing this for 25 or 30 years say you should be doing, I, I suggest you get other opinions from individuals who have come into this business with the same trials and tribulations that you may have uh, been mm-hmm. encountering. And, and um, you know, uh, it's certainly the, the, the post um, internet or post um, pay to play site uh, generation of doing voice. Yeah. Uh, there's a certain extent to which I feel I can offer a benefit and service to people out there. Clearly. I mean, everybody in the chat room is thanking you. So oh, really, um, no doubt. Quite, how about another tech yeah, question? And, yeah. and JS, that's incredibly useful. Cause right. like Paul said, even though you're discounting yourself, you're, you're enhancing your own credibility. Cause you're like, Hey, I don't know everything. Yeah. And you're, um, all well, you're saying is, you like, or at least realize, the most important uh, part is that, <clears throat> I was going to say, realize that I'm on this thing uh, as a participant too, learning from the guests that you bring on here. Uh, you you don't think I was like totally interested in what Kelly had to say uh, last week about uh, what she's doing for Jeep and all that kind of stuff? 
You don't think I understand the importance of being able to get a freaking ad week article, like huge one that you got? Of course. Yeah. And yeah. anybody who's smart, even if you're making a hundred, two hundred thousand dollars a year, you're smart if you pay attention to uh, certain places. Now, uh, do I like everything that goes on on VOBOS? No, and you're not going to. And do you like all the people? No, you're not going to. But you know what? Uh, I'm getting better at saying not not for me rather than saying ah. Right. And, and that's that's my problem. It's not anybody else's problem. <laughs> and that's what we love about you. But, uh, <laughs> and that's why we love you. Um, but, uh, here's one. I'm going to move on yeah, from that. It's I'm just gonna... it's not taking everything at face value. It's it's like having your own opinion. You don't have to accept everything is like this is how it has to be. You hear all of your guests have a different journey into voiceover. So oh, yeah. why true. should we like expect it to be any different for ourselves? And very they, good point, man. If yeah. something works for you, wonderful. If it doesn't, dismiss it, learn from it, and do something else. Don't badmouth it. Right. Yeah, and, exactly. and that's why we give such a wide variety of guests on our that's show. That's right. Yeah. You know, so we have um, a tech question here. Yeah. How do I get control of the extreme volume changes when auditioning or even recording the real thing? For video games, for example, going from a dying whisper to shouting. How the heck do you record that stuff? Well, that's that's what, a that's a basic mic technique thing. Is know? it mic technique? Well, it's or is it's, it a, it's gain a, setting. It's or is, what well, is it? one read the copy you're going to have. Know what what it is you're going to do. Well, you need a level. Yeah, we call it getting a level. Right. You, you set you start somewhere. You set your level, and if you're going to be very quiet, you know. One, you have to sort of, if it's going to be extreme ranges, uh, it's important to stop and change the input level on your mic. So you'll actually change the gain right. of the mic right. during... So if, so if you're doing really thing. quiet passages, hmm. set and do the quiet passages first. Okay. And then if you're doing some louder passages, turn them down. Okay. Or if you are doing it as a running thing, say you're doing it as a live session... Of course, if you're doing it as a live session in a studio, they're, they're just they're well, just they're doing they're, they're just writing the levels. Yeah, they you know? are. But if you're doing it in your own studio, do the different levels at different times. So if you're doing all the soft reads, do all the soft reads first. If you're doing the the loud reads, turn it down or back off the mic because okay. you can shout and not overmodulate, and just learn the distances at the the what your mic will take. Uh, what is, what is the distance that, you know, you could back off and shout full bore and not, and not over modulate. Right. That makes sense. That's one answer. Okay. Your there's turn. not a wrong answer. That's just, there's, there's the thing is about this. There's no one right answer because there's yeah. a lot of different ways. To and do everybody's it. voice is different. Yeah. And you, every mic is yeah, different. If you back away from the mic, undeniably the mic is less sensitive, right? Mm -hmm. So the problem that you know run into, if you do back off the mic and you don't have a great sounding studio, like. Dan, this space is pretty awesome. Dan can back three feet from the mic, and it still sounds pretty damn good. I can go good. in my backyard. Yeah, it still, still sounds pretty focused. But a lot of us that are in whisper rooms, boy, oh boy, you get more than a foot or so away from the mic, and it just sounds so boxy and hollow. So for folks like that that don't have the luxury of space to be able to move from the mic and not sound so hollow – then my technique might be a little bit different. Now the right. game, now the record in different sections is not a bad idea. It's more work to prep it because you got to know in advance what's the quiet stuff, what's the loud stuff, right. and all that. That's what that's what highlighters are for. Yeah, it's more mm -hmm. prep. If you're lazy or and or in a hurry, then my technique is really to just figure out the level you can record at on the loudest stuff, and just set the gain for the loudest stuff, and then just go for it. So what's going to happen is the quiet stuff's going to be really quiet. Okay? It's going to be really quiet. Really quiet. Yeah. The levels are going to look really tiny, and the loud stuff's going to be really loud, but you got to make sure that you set the game right so that that loud stuff doesn't clip like crazy. you got to get that right. It also does help to record at 24-bit. Now, we've been talking about 16-bit for room. forever. Right. But with 24-bit, you, you can get quieter with less noise. So when you're, in, when you're down... 25 db from where you would like to be when the levels are brought up later in post however it's done i'm not going to get into that right now but however it's done the you won't be increasing the, a lot of noise it, it, should, it should still be pretty clean 
if if it's recorded at 24 bit. Now, uh, Anthony raised his hand. Well, actually, and the chat room is passing notes. They all want to talk about it too. But Anthony, what's actually, your, uh, I'm I'm passing along from Bill Lord because I didn't think you'd see it in the show. Oh, okay, <laughs> thanks. No, we're not uh, watching. Do that. you ever use the uh, 10 dB pad? In such a situation. Oh, I was going to say that too. That's next. That's yes. another thing. So if your mic has a 10 dB pad, this is a handy little hack. Instead of having to remember or have to go reach for your gain, and if your gain is in another room, it's even more of a pain. Right. Use the pad switch. Right. So you're doing the normal stuff, and then you get into the shouty stuff, switch on the pad, 10 dB, minus 10 dB, right. and it will knock the sensitivity of the mic down. You can record all the loud stuff. So that's does, another way to do does, it. Does this Allen and Heath mixer we use have a 10 dB pad it on it? It does not have a 10 dB pad. Ah. It has a compressor, yeah. which is another way, another yeah. workaround, which uh, can get a little touchy if you don't do it right, but you can set up a compressor or a limiter that will catch the really loud stuff and keep you from clipping and distorting. Right. But that's the ch most challenging technique because if it's not set up right, it, uh, it doesn't work very well. It, and it's a matter of if you do it a lot, yeah. you learn what the parameters are and what works best for you. You also learn to be loud without being loud. Well, that's true. You learn true. how to project without, you learn how to sound loud. Yeah, you never project. Without projecting okay. so darn much right and, and uh, just talk the way you would normally talk in a loud conversation right you know where your voice wears out at a voiceover yeah. conference yeah you know, <laughs> i have heard that in, in video games they do actually tell you to actually yell i i yeah. i hear it's murder on the yeah oh yeah oh yeah the voice doing video games yeah. but um chat room what do you got or the uh zoom room Zoom room. What do you guys, anybody have anything yeah, to say about to that? Yeah, you guys to be talking amongst your sidebar? There. Losing you. Gone, What's the remember. sidebar in the, in the uh, Zoom room? What are you guys talking about? Uh, we were, uh, so mentioned, we were talking uh, about that Harlan Hogan. We'll get, I want to we'll hear to about her. Harlan Hogan. You want to plug Harlan Hogan. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's coming up Probably, next, yeah. actually. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna we get love to that. Harlan Hogan. All right, since you forced our hand. Yes. Gave right, me a let's hat. talk about Harlan. Harlan gave me a hat, and we had lunch. And he's a lovely man. Harlan Hogan. Support this fellow. He is a prince. He is Support a great Support him or I'll come and bite your leg. You know, you know, the first voice actor I ever saw present at a conference was Harlan at NAB. Oh, really? He was there presenting on his new book. Mm -hmm. And then ever since then, I thought to myself, not, you know, good for him, but damn it, I want to do that. And uh, so that was always an inspiration for me to get to speak at <laughs> to get to speak at NAB. So I got to yeah. do that this year. Right. That was yeah. awesome. Yeah. Get, but yeah, Harlan Hogan, great guy. Personally met him. You know, somebody you can walk up to and give a hug to. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. and 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 really a real expert in the business. But I there is something about his company. I have a funny yes. Harlan Hogan. Yes, story. yes. You do? Well, we'll yeah. get that. In there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you know, he's got a great website, VoiceOverEssentials.com, and you know, it's a great website. <laughs> And it's about to get better, believe it or not. In addition to a new layout, VoiceOver Essentials now can take PayPal payments. Oh, good. That's really, like, really cool. It's about time. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. But I know, I know for a fact that his webmaster is totally redoing the site. Not yeah. that it wasn't a great site before. No, Imagine good. how good it's going to be now yeah. because they're making it even better. It's a lot of work. But they are taking PayPal payments. Payments. Good. Or pay, 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 payments, right. And other special pricing on studio gear bundles. Hmm. So, you know, oh, he's bundling, he's bundling. We've talked like about AT and T and, and, and time warrant they're bundling. Yeah. Bundling is always a, a hassle to do. So I'm glad he's able to do that now. Right. Now these turnkey solutions have been a, a request for years. And now they can offer them. There you so go. go over to voice over essentials.com because mm -hmm. Not only can you find the best voiceover stuff around and equipment wise mm -hmm. and his books, you know, including Harlan's book, which you were just talking about yep. and a lot of other great books and great equipment. The, uh, the ABS, my favorite item, the boom jock that will keep your boom up and, uh, you know, and you know, his signature series stuff, the headphones, the microphones, plus you can get just about anything else from him. Uh, at voiceoveressentials.com. So go over there. Now you can use PayPal and bundle up some stuff and get some great voiceover stuff from Harlan Hogan over at voiceoveressentials.com and tell them we sent you because all you got to do is go down the page and there's a picture of Harlan talking into his world-famous Portabooth Pro and uh, 
And and by two. Oh, wow. There's already a new look to the website. Wow, that's pretty impressive. So go over there. Click on all his stuff, buy everything he has in his online store, and make us all happy. And uh, and that's the way it works. And thank you, Harlan. Five years he's been with us, and he doesn't seem to want to stop. So we must be helping him a whole lot. <laughs> right. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> Anthony? Bill, Bill Lord's asking, would it be cool to hug Harlan without an introduction? <laughs> 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 maybe if you're like wearing his headphones or something. Or maybe yeah, if yeah. you're Kelly Buttrick. Yes. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, she's big on hugs. Yeah. yeah Thank like, you, Harlan. Yes. All righty. Well, we're, we're getting down to the, the down to the uh, end of things here, but we still got a few uh, questions in here and... Uh, yeah, we haven't heard from Scott much. He just talked about singing Strokin' or whatever it was that he was singing. <laughs> Scott. What's going on with you, Scott? <laughs> We're going to you now, buddy. You're on. He's drinking some wine. Yeah. <laughs> What's happening, bro? JS wants me to show my headphones. There, check them out. They're the Harlan Hogan. There we go. Nicely done, my friend. Yeah, I've got my Scott, let me just say from a guy to a guy. Okay, let me just say. Look at me in my eyes. <laughs> you look marvelous. You look marvelous. <laughs> You're looking I good, Scott. Love. And that, that's not just the beer talking, man. You're looking good, brother. <laughs> he looks good with a beard, doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Y'all got all baby face. He's looking good. No, man, you got super baby face for VO Atlanta. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was doing that on camera thing, so I, I had to. So, George, I noticed oh, okay. that. Dan's not wearing headphones. Does that mean we could just make fun of him here in the in our little group? And he won't hear. No, it? we actually have <laughs> we actually have an open speaker in the in the room uh, monitoring so that Anthony can listen without headphones. So. Yeah. So why right. do you have headphones on then? Because I'm the sound mixer of the show, and I have to mix all you guys so you're not insanely loud and soft. And right. Okay. I'm doing all this stuff. And doing a marvelous job. Thanks, man. As you have been for all these years. Sometimes we've been doing I go one year on, show. one year off, uh, but yeah, yeah it depends. But exactly. Good question. Well, you've got to get the budget bigger so you guys have a makeup crew, floor director. Get yeah, it needs all that. I need Interesting that he would person. bring that up. Yes. We are looking. no makeup person for tonight. JS, do you want to be floor producer? Can you come down every Monday night and be our floor producer? Me? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> From San Francisco. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe not. We don't quite have that budget. Although you could take the sleep bus, my friend. Do you I'm know what the to. sleep bus I'm, is? Uh, I'm coming sleep down bus. in June, actually. Uh, I'm going to take the sleep bus uh, and come down in June. They have two sleep buses, one that uh, sleeps 12 people, one that sleeps 24. They're and expanding. then uh, I'm going to go uh, and spend a few nights in Orange County and a couple of nights in L.A. and then go to Las Vegas. Uh, and I'm, I'm just going to take all my money and put it on red. <laughs> <laughs> well, JS has to come to our, our Memorial Day picnic. Oh, man, I hope I mean, so. I mean, he gets a double invite. Double so, invite. A double invite because he has to be Day? here. It's the last day of May, pretty much. May 30th. Usually. Swear to <laughs> but, you know, it's I, a Monday. I'm plugging the sleep bus because I'm gonna yeah. t- I think I'm going to take the sleep bus in a couple weeks. If you don't know what it is, this thing is, I shouldn't even tell you what it is because now Isn't I'm like going to get on the There's sleep only bus. two freaking buses. Yeah. I don't want to like get them all booked up and I'll miss my 40 bucks. It leaves from San Francisco at 11 o'clock. <laughs> yeah. It rolls into Santa Monica at seven in the morning, but you can sleep until noon if you want in the bus. Yeah, they oh. give you like a late checkout. You can sleep in the bus for a little longer until you get <laughs> until you wake up. But the bus you wake is, up in a strange city, or well, yeah, that, you know, Wi-Fi. the bus has Wi-Fi. The bus has Wi-Fi. They give you beverages. They all you the leave births, with your kidneys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You wake up in the morning and, you're, and <laughs> there's ice packs on your. <laughs> 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 oh, that might be bad for business. Yeah, uh, but yeah, no, it's. A, I think it's really cool. I want to try it out. I mean, you, I. It's just like JS said, except I get on the bus in Santa Monica. Right. I can walk to the bus from my house practically, and oh. you get in bed. And these Casper mattresses are super comfortable. You lay down, close the curtain. It's like a. It's like a sleeper train. Yeah, except you're hanging. I would imagine they probably, you know, modernized the buses. Gosh, probably. I hope so. We'll see. We'll see. You hear the guy snoring right next to you or above you. There is that. 
But anyway, I, I'm put excited up some, to try put up, some, put up some acoustical treatment in there. There's <laughs> so, there's something that you can do Another with these people. Business. I t- never t- thought about that. Take your own studio suit oh, with you. That's right. In- <laughs> installing acoustical treatment on the sleeper bus. Holy crap. That's never really thought funny. of that. Um, and you heard. Do you guys have anything else? I mean, we're going to wrap up the show in a few. In a few, but any any parting words from our our amazing Zoom room? You guys, have anything else you want to add before we? Well, you want to plug anything? If you don't mind me plug, speaking plug, one more plug? time. Yes, right, go, ahead. go ahead and plug yourselves for God's sake. Well, no, no plugging required. Oh, I'm, uh, and part <laughs> of it is what I'm going to talk about is that, you know, I we are all at different uh, markers, perhaps Same. on the on the road on the road to stardom. Sure. Like yes, God willing. But uh, uh, that's what I've heard. But uh, I think the one thing that uh, voiceover BS offers is that if you continue to watch it, you will pick up whatever is pertinent to your position on the track at the moment. So um, Mm -hmm. I'm picking up more things now as I progress Mm -hmm. in my uh, efforts to, to do more voiceover and uh, some things that I missed in older shows. I'm watching some of those older shows and you know, it hits home now. So I think uh, every week is this is a place to be. Indeed. I missed uh, Maxine and Amy asked a question. They're saying they're not getting it answered. What was the question? Oh, uh, I missed uh, it. It's not in the, it's not in the, uh, what was the question? Without Maxine asked. We had to I can't find it. Or, uh, um, 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 in the something chat room? about new base traps at NEB. Oh yeah. 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 Oh, I'm going to plug that for sure. But cause we're going to do a demo. Um, Maxine, who was on the show, Maxine Dunn. The lovely the Maxine show. Dunn. The lovely Maxine. and tall and she intelligent Maxine. Yes. Yes. <laughs> tall, intelligent. She's tall, intelligent. She's tall, intelligent. Um, intelligent. Intelligent. Uh, you win. Maxine, uh, <laughs> Maxine, uh, <laughs> women were equally invited to this uh, sausage fest, as you call it. <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, <laughs> quite. Uh, chose not to cam up. I can only think of the reason why is uh, because maybe they didn't have their... Uh, their Mac lipstick at arm's reach. Oh. I don't know uh, why there aren't any women on here. It's not like Dan didn't say 37 times. If anybody <laughs> wants to be on the show, there's 47 people in the chat room. Why are there only three people in the room? So I'm True. just saying. No, no, everybody's <laughs> equal. We're equal, equal opportunity here. Me. Sorry about the sausage fest, and we'll <laughs> we'll try <laughs> harder to fix that next time. I'm sorry if I missed a question. There's there's just you a lot of activity. You guys did your best. Yeah, I mean, yeah, come yeah. on. The chat room is it flooded. Takes two to tango. Uh, the chat room <laughs> is flooded. Numerous. But um, yeah, no, there is a new a new acoustical package from Whisper Room, um, and we're going to do a demo of that new acoustic package in Maxine's booth. She has a Whisper Room. Cool. So we're going to try that out, and that's going to be pretty sweet. She's going to get the package in. We're going to put it in. We're going to do before and after and uh, get a little exposure for that new product. Because Whisper Room, it's a great company, slow learners. Not as a, <laughs> the, 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 the CEO, I've not met the mm-hmm. owner of the company, but apparently he's very set in his ways. And I have spoken to these guys at many conferences I've talked to, talked to them on the phone. I've given them a lot of suggestions, my piece of my mind. And they're finally coming up with what seems to be a workable acoustical package for their booth that you can buy turnkey and install, and it will work. But we're going to get one in for Maxine, and we're going to put it in. We're going to find out for sure cool. if it works. So that thanks for mentioning that, Maxine, because I, I wasn't thinking of that. So uh, It's really funny that you mentioned that, George, because um, – like I, I got to interview one of the representatives of Vio Atlanta, and we actually did the interview inside of a whisper room. Right. And I was like, play, um, I still need to upload it to YouTube, but I'm like playing it back. I'm like, wow, it sounds really boxy in there. Right, right. <laughs> but it's like, <laughs> wah, yeah, wah. Yeah. I'm like, I almost feel like I did them more harm than good. But right. Um, like hey. you're saying, these people need to know, and they do. Like we're like we're. We're a constituency. Like you should honor that. They so, don't need to. They, it's not that they don't. Right. They need to know, but they also just need to listen. I mean, tell. It's not yeah. like I haven't been. Oh well, yeah. More importantly, than, like I've been in their ears know. for years. You can, uh, cut up an old couch uh, into fours and just put the pieces <laughs> of the old couches <laughs> in the true. corners of the room, underneath the empty egg cartons that you have on the wall. Yeah. And uh, it works. It works equally uh, well. <laughs> it's true. That's that's pretty much what I'm using. But no. <laughs> Um, there, now there, there was actually one more question about um, in the in the chat from Dana Hurley. What are good headphones that don't rest so heavily 
on the top of the head? And this question came up. Maybe Dana asked it online as well. She did. Somebody yeah, mentioned was, that they had good. a little bump on their head, and it didn't. Their dynamic seven seventies are good. Yeah, I'm they're they're very though. comfortable. But if you want something that literally does not touch the top of your head at all, Audio Technica, my friends, has some headphones now that have like instead of the standard band that goes over your head, they have two like fingers, like these little padded fingers that suspend the headphones off of your head. And one of them is the, I believe, and if I get this wrong chat room, please correct me. I think it's the ATH R70X. And this is the thing about it. This is a open back headphone. So this would not necessarily be good maybe for voicing all day. This would be good for post or editing and mixing Mm -hmm. because it's open back. That means the sound will bleed out of the can. But in researching this for Dana, I think, on Facebook the other night, I found that they have a new model that is more maybe a prosumer headphone, but I'm not sure. It probably works well for VO. That's a closed back that has that same uh, system. Right. Well, you go to these headphone fests. I'm I'm a headphone addict. You guys love microphones. I love headphones headphones. the way that you guys love microphones, to be honest. I'm I'm obsessed with them. Yeah. Um, You know, another thing she might want to try, George... Uh, you can you can use regular earbuds as yeah. well, and you can get oh. a one eighth to one quarter inch uh, adapter, and uh, and you can use earbuds. Can I plug my ear, my favorite really good quality earbuds too? Sennheiser makes a set for around seventy bucks that are that are dynamite. I'm gonna plug the ones that I've discovered recently because I've tried a lot of in ears over the years. I was never all that happy with the way they sounded, but this is a totally unknown co- company. From the from our world called one more our world well the vo world like <laughs> oh, these okay, guys, the they don't they world. don't okay. uh market in our world they're right. it's really a consumer product but this brand one more turn it up the right way mm-hmm. uh one more they make one called the triple the... the triple driver look how cute look how nice those look right yeah they're like finished in, in like a and they're angled. sort of a bronze he's very color. sexy very, very sexy. sexy yeah but these things that run about a nice. hundred bucks okay which depending on your perspective, is cheap or expensive. I think it's just right. I think $100 is just right for headphones. But these things are triple driver, which means they have an incredibly accurate reproduction of sound because they actually have three different drivers inside, like a three-way speaker. How do they fit them all in there? It's freaking amazing what's inside these things. But normally to get earphones that work this well and sound this good, you're talking three, dollars $400 minimum until these came along. About a hundred bucks, USA dot one more, literally one more dot com. Cool. Um, and they're double as just like standard run of the mill earbuds for your iPhone or your Android. They have the volume control and the the stop start button on them and the mic, so you can use it as a regular hands free. But man, these things sound good. I plugged them online because I thought they were awesome. A bunch of the community bought them. Joe Cipriano and a bunch of others bought them, and everybody thinks that they sound amazing. So that's another. Op- Thanks for bringing that up, Jazz, because cool. it's another great option. I gotta try those. So, no headphone here. Or no headphones at all. And I, maybe you should take some advice from somebody who's been doing this. 20 <laughs> no headphones here. <laughs> a little bit. Just Do you use bit. headphones in the booth, JS? Yes or no? No. I come from an acting background. And typically, uh, in, in when I was doing this, you could tell people who came from broadcasting or radio, they were more comfortable wearing headphones. Uh, and actors tended to want to have work with near fields if they could. So I'll yeah. wear them when I have to, but I don't, I don't like to. Yeah. Yeah. All righty. Well, who hasn't had a last word yet? JS plenty of last JS words. JS has got all his last <laughs> words in, I think. Uh, how about us last word from Paul, 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 Paul. Paul hey, Stefan. Uh, I just want to say thanks for having me. It's been a blast. And, uh, I guess I'll just plug my website. If anyone wants to check it out, it's www. Ready for this? Dot Paul Stefano. Very, very innovative. Dot com. Cool. Or you can follow me at Twitter at Paul Stefano. Thanks, man. All right. And Ray, where do we find you again? You didn't want to plug yourself earlier, but go ahead and plug yourself. Well, I am, uh, plug like away. I say, I'm at the beginning of the route. So okay. it's uh, www.raspeaks.com. And okay. I'm just going to start with uh, some small stuff and uh, you know, do some phone hold. I think that's a good place to start. But I, I had a newscaster background in radio 40 years ago. And then Gotcha. Trying to retire and maybe do some more fun stuff. Well, welcome back. Yeah, man. Thank you. How about Sean? Sean, where do we find you on the webs, on the interwebs? You can find me at uh, www.dailyvo.com. Not like my name, exactly how it sounds. 
um like every day <laughs> and um so we can we can have a whole conversation about personal branding another time but thank you very much for having me guys it was great to be here so best of luck on everyone's voiceover journey thanks man scott, scott. uh find me online scottchambersvo.com that's all, all right, i brother. have that's all you got. Such easy websites. It used JS. To be like, yeah. JS. Where the heck yeah. are you? Yeah, we're, we're, we're I'm at uh, www. I tell people I play piano in a brothel rather than tell them I do voiceover. Dot com. com. No, <laughs> at AOL.com. <laughs> I bet he didn't spend much on that URL. Right. J, JS at JSGilbert.com. And if I can, seriously, if I, if any, if I can help people, uh, I don't pull punches and I don't charge actors any money for anything. So you're lovely, JS. Thanks, man. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Antony. Under that grizzled exterior. Oh, yeah. Antony. <laughs> Parting yeah, words, Antony. Freaking teddy bear. <laughs> Antony. Parting hey? words. Like, what do you want me to do? Plug or something? Or? Plug what, yourself. What, you're, you're, you're on the show. Oh. Go. Well, I just <laughs> want to say thank you for letting me hang out with you. Uh, we had a wonderful dinner last night, Dan and Marcy and I. And, cool. And hanging out today, Dan let me use his studio. I had a few pickups I had to send in and, and one new little project. And. We had a nice lunch, and it's just been a, it's been, been really nice, nice oh, cool. hanging out. And you guys, if you ever get the chance, uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, dare I say, man cave? Can I say man cave? It's a man. It's it's the voiceover body shop. Yeah, it's the voiceover body shop. It's cool. And um, not that any of the people watching the show would hire me, but I'm at hireanthony.com. Doesn't matter how you spell it. You never know. That's right. You never know. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, right. it's been a lot of fun. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks to everybody for being with us tonight and, mm -hmm. and all that crowd in the chat room. We got some great shows coming up though. We do, man. We do. Like next week, May 9th, mm -hmm. Jim Tasker is going to be here. Yay. You know, and he's been really busy doing football. Well, not lately, but baseball now and basketball, HBO, and he'll be here in the studio. Awesome. So that'll be a lot of fun. Him a long time. May 16th, Johnny Heller. Mm-hmm. Johnny Heller is a great guy. I mean, he's a great voiceover coach and he's mostly known for audiobooks, but he's going to talk about having fun without doing audiobooks. So All right, well, you got to tune in to see what that means. Right, what, what does he mean? <laughs> May 23rd, one of our best buddies here in Los Angeles, a guy who just really knows the tech stuff. As a matter of fact, he's, a, he's called some audio guy. That's right. Juan Carlos Bagnell will be here. We've had him on before, but he'll be back. Cause he had such a good time last time and May 30th, we've got our Memorial day party. Uh, and you got to sign up on our emailing list or you know, our mail. How do get, pe how do people get on the email list? Go to your website. It's right on the website. It's like, well, that's like see pops up right there. It's like blasts you in the eyeballs. Yep. The second you go to VOBS.TV, you can sign up on the mailing list and then we will send you an invite to come to the party. That's Some right. All the deets. We're going to have a party right here at the voiceover body shop, right here in my backyard. Hope that we're trying to get a band together. Got to compete with uncle Roy, you know, <laughs> there's no competing with uncle Roy. I, I know. Well, this is the West coast version of the uncle Roy barbecue. This is the, there you go. This is the voiceover body shop. I like it. Barbecue. Well, uncle Roy come all the way here. Mm. Eh. But anyway, get on the mailing list. We're here in Los Angeles and it's, we're going to have a great time here on Memorial day. Yeah. And, uh, let's see what else. Thank you. So oh, well, well, I mean, I'll say the show is live Yeah. as if you're not here live, most of you aren't. So if you do want to be here live, tune in at 6 PM Pacific time, nine o'clock Eastern time. Now it's 1 AM GMT according yes. to Jack. He corrected me. He keeps changing every week though. Well, it's, mm -hmm. you know, time zones and That's daylight true. savings or whatever, but it's now 1 AM GMT that we're on and, uh, you can be here live and be in the chat room. It's a, a lot of fun to be an interactive show like we do. And if you can't watch it live, like most of you, you're going to be consuming it on our website, on right. YouTube, uh, and on our, on our voice over body shop channel. More essentials coming down the pike. And oh, good. I'll get to work on this. There's, there's, a, there's a lot of work. We've got a work. backlog of those. Backlog gonna, of gotta essentials. Got to work on those but, sorts uh, of things. Stitcher, the audio version is very popular. You can right. listen to us in the car while you're shampooing your marmot. <laughs> Whatever you're doing, you can listen to the show. Um, All right. you never it's miss a, a beat. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and if you want to be in the studio, 
Like yeah. Anthony is. Get a shot of Anthony. Show people what he it looks really like if you're in the studio. If he's if you're in the studio. Da, 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 da. Write Yay. to us at the this is the one place you can write the guys at VOBS.tv. We'll talk to you. We answer our email. Mm-hmm. At least I do most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's see. Got to thank our, let's see who else. Oh, got to thank our sponsors, Harlan Hogan, voiceover extra edge studio source elements, view to go, go and Antland productions for providing this uninterrupted stream mm-hmm. that you have gotten basically error free and trouble free eh, for the last five years. That's right. And those are the guys that are helping us do that. And of course you can donate, uh, to the, uh, by just going to the donate button up there. You know, do you still have that sign, JS, or did JS leave us here? JS right? had that little sign. He okay. was trying to help us. Yes. All right. So uh, donations help. It helps keep the uh, the equipment up to date. You know, and all that stuff that we saw at NAB, like the virtual studio, so we could have like a news desk and a weather desk. No, we don't need that. So we can do stuff. things like this and this and be completely in front of the chat room and make no! them all laugh no! at us. When I told you guys I can I can monitor three three. Con- conversations at once i was telling the truth <laughs> <laughs> hit the donate button for bobs man right there it's thanks it's yes. right up there <laughs> okay very cool uh gotta thank marcy my wife because she lets us do this every week <laughs> from our backyard uh let's see Catherine curden our fabulous producer who mm-hmm. gets us great guests and mm-hmm. stuff and uh let's see anthony gettig we are not worthy. We are not oh, worthy. We're not worthy. It's great ah, having you we're here. We're not worthy. Great to be here. It's great to have you actually here in the studio. Great to be seen. Yeah. And, and uh, let's see, who else? Uh, Shelly Avellino when you're, you know, you have the flu in. or whatever. Right. Yeah. Uh, let's see. And uh, Lee, Jack, Jack DeGolli for the show. Sure. Now, it's still taking, I, I can't imagine what this is going to look like when he's been writing all this <laughs> stuff. And Lee Penny for the podcast and just for being Lee Penny. Thanks, I mean, Lee. Come on now. We haven't seen much of Lee. Oh, Lee. He's, he's been, been in France. Yeah, he's in France. But he, he needs to long. come back and visit us. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see. Oh, after the show. There's something more? There's more after the show. Oh, my gosh. I mean, I mean, if, if you're still watching the show, which you should be, uh, right afterwards, we have a new cartoon from Jacob. It's not Mugman. It's Plancy's World. This is another one he's been working on. Okay. And you're going to love it. And so, uh, so stay tuned for that. Plancy's world with me and Jacob and, and, and some other great, we have a great cast for this show. It, it's, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. And, uh, and, and I that's think it. that's going to do it Let's for this goodbye. one. Good night. Bye everybody. <laughs> Toodle 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 Toodle. Body Shop. See Look you next I am. week. Look, I am. Cheers. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Are you confused about how to set up and maintain a professional quality voiceover studio? No wonder. The information out there is mostly mythology. This is the best microphone to use. You have to have a preamp. You need a soundproof booth. This software is the best. Your audio must be broadcast quality. Consult with someone who knows the truth. Someone who's been there, in the trenches, doing voiceover for over 30 years. Someone with unparalleled experience with voiceover studios, who's worked with hundreds of voice actors and designed hundreds of personal studios. He knows how to teach and cares about your success in one of the harshest environments known to voiceover, your home. Dan Leonard, the home studio master. Separate myth from fact and get a handle on your personal voiceover studio. Contact the Home Studio Master at homevoiceoverstudio.com. Drop off a specimen of your dry audio for a free analysis. Hey, look, a beehive! Keep going! Why? I am not getting pollinated! What's pollination? Uh oh, oh my. That's why we should move on. Ooh, let's do this. No, 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 get away! Be
day! Wait, what? What a great time to be alive! Flower, are you okay? I couldn't be better! Huh, Flower's not being mean. It's a dream come true! Are you ready to see the world's biggest tree? Let's go! Look up ahead! A bridge! Oh, wow! I love bridges! Oh, I am the bridge troll! You may not cross until you solve my riddle! I love riddles! If you have nine pigs and four pens, how do you put an uneven number of pigs in each pen? Uh, hmm, well, uh, um, no, uh, no, is it no? Uh, hey, Flower, do you know the answer? What a beautiful day! Do you know the answer? Huh, Flower would know how to get by this troll if he were being mean. Do we have to solve the riddle to cross? Yes! I'm starting to think this tree isn't worth it. Hey, that's not the spirit! We'll figure this out together! Hey, I got a riddle for you! Why are you wasting our time? Hey, this is what I do! You're a waste of time in space! Get out of the way! Fine! Well, it was nice while it lasted. Let's go see that tree! Let's not and save your feet! What a jerk! I never want to see that flower again! So this is all you do? Stand in front of a bridge all day and ask stupid riddles? What a waste! You can do something much more productive, like, I don't know, having a job, helping society, not wasting your life behind a...